Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the shop. So this is gonna be part one of the mid-century style modern walnut desk I'm working on for a client. This thing is gonna be absolutely awesome. The client provided the wood for this build and the wood actually came from their grandmother's tree which was milled down about 30 years ago. And ever since then, it's been air drying under a barn for that entire time. And as you know, air dried walnut is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to incorporate this into the desk. <coughs> ah, excuse me. <sighs> so after going back and forth with the client, we came upon a picture on the internet of a similar desk that she was shooting for. As you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. And we're gonna make a few slight changes to it. The desk drawers are actually gonna be from Live Edge Walnut that we take from the tree instead of the white drawers and incorporating that is just gonna make this desk next level. It's gonna look awesome. I hope you guys follow along with me. I am super excited to get started on this desk and let's go. All right, so what we have here is one of the pieces of walnut from the tree, and I've cut it down into more manageable sizes. But on this piece and some of the other ones that I have, you can actually see that the boring bugs have gone in here and they have absolutely destroyed this piece of walnut, which is very unfortunate because a lot of this walnut is gonna be lost and you can just see how powdery this stuff is. It just breaks away, it's super soft. So I've kinda gotta go in here with a straight edge and kind of figure out how far the boring bugs have gone in. And then with my straight edge, I'm just gonna mark that, take it over to my bandsaw and cut along that straight edge. And hopefully we don't waste too much of this wood. So now that we have the edges cut off these boards, you can see that they come in various thicknesses and also widths. That's okay, we're not gonna worry about that. What we need to address though is how warped some of these boards are. And how we're gonna fix that is with my planer sled that I have here. And then we're gonna go ahead and shim these up and I'll show you how to do that. And then we're gonna run them through the planer and get both sides perfectly flat. So you can see on this board here that there's a crown in the wood where there's a concave in the bottom here and it kind of arches like this. Well, I don't wanna put this on the planer sled this way because the high point's in the center there and that's just gonna cause it to rock and you're gonna have a hard time getting it shimmed perfectly. So we're gonna put this on the planer sled like this so that we have two points of contact on the bottom there and it's not gonna rock back and forth. So when we lay this board flat on our planer sled and we push from opposite corners of the board, you can see how much wiggle room there is. 
and that's showing you how much twist there is in the board. And how to get rid of that, we're actually going to push down on the front and then we're going to slide our shim into the back here. And then we're going to go over to our opposite corners and wiggle those as well. And I'm going to push force down on this front corner here and then I'm going to go ahead and shim this back corner. And now what we should see is absolutely no movement when we go like this on both sides of the corners. And that means that our board is now ready to be run through the planer. All I'm going to do is add a little bit of hot glue here to keep the shims in place. Just to keep the board a little bit steady. And now we can run that through our planer. One other thing I like to do before I send this through the planer is just take your pencil or pen and just mark some lines. And when you use your planer sled, you always want your board to be angled up in the back. So you want your high side here instead of having your high side up front because when the planer blades come, you want it to skim the back first and then that way you can start adjusting, you know, taking off more and more until the whole board is getting planed down to even. Okay, so now we can just pop this up off the planer sled. And this side should actually be completely flat. So now that we have this side completely flat, we're gonna take this side over to the planer and get this side all leveled out as well. All right. Now only 12 more boards to go. guys thanks for watching if you stuck around i hope you enjoyed the video and i cannot wait to continue this desk build if you guys like what you're seeing please subscribe and also hit that bell to be notified when the next part of this video comes out and we will catch you later